Do you like first edition vintage Yu-Gi-Oh packs? Well, today's your lucky day because we have 24 first edition Magic Ruler packs. What is up guys, we're back with another epic video and today I have 24 Magic Ruler packs that you saw in the mail day the other day. This guy actually found these in his basement and he was like, hey, Ruxin, you wanna buy these? They're first edition Magic Ruler. And I was like, uh, yeah. So here we are. 24 booster packs. We had 30 total. We opened, no, we have 26 booster packs actually, because we had four that we opened the other day out of the 30, and now we're left with 26, slightly over one booster box. Before we get into it, we do have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this ultimate rare Black Cluster Soldier Envoy of the Beginning. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know if you like Magic Ruler and what other original sets you like as well. I don't think we need to say much else for this opening, because this is the third set ever made. First edition booster packs. I don't think we need to really, you know, say much else. Let's just get into it. Let's see if we can pull that blue eyes toon dragon. That's the secret rare that we would like. A sen uh, not sinister serpent. What's it called? The uh, serpent knight dragon would also be incredible as well. So we're hoping for that. Ultra rares. Relinquish is great. There's a lot of toon stuff. So any of that is going to be awesome. Let's go ahead and hop into the opening with weather report. We got the upstart goblin. The uh, ceremonial belt. These are very off centered. If you guys can see that the right side is much larger than the left. We got the dark witch, which does hurt the grading. We got the crab turtle. The snake fang. Very nice. Peacock. And the Shining Angels. We're starting it off with a regular rare, but that's still a very cool card. Magic Ruler has a lot of really nice cards for actually playing the game early on, and Shining Angel is one of them. All right, next pack, Magic Ruler number two. Yeah, I thought I was thinking 24, but it's really 26, so we got even over a booster box. So from this amount of packs, we're hoping for potentially half a chance at a secret rare basically you know one out of every two boxes ish has one then we also have probably two ultra rares that's the normal ratio for a box then we have four supers so anything over that would be incredible upstart ceremonial bell we got a darkness approaches fairy sand meter mirror these are regular uh these are loose packs i should say so there's a good chance that the ratio is different because it's not actually out of a booster box that i know of final destiny with the penguin knight because the guy did find them you know in his house he doesn't he doesn't necessarily know where they came from next pack is an amoeba so we're starting it off with uh just an amoeba okay um shining angel amoeba cool cards but uh we're really looking for those hollows in here so let's see if we can uh get that correct and uh not continue with the rares okay the yeah, that's all right. But I did. I was hoping to get that Metal Raiders box open. And we didn't quite get there. So I decided, you know what? Magic Ruler is almost as good. So let's open that. Horn of Heaven, Sonic Bird. The tie home. The centering is crazy on these commons. There we go. Then it switches back to good. There's a little ding right there on that one. Giant Turtle who feeds on flames. Very cool. The Magical Labyrinth. The Dark Zebra. A luminous Spark. And the Giant Rat. Another good one. But uh, yeah, that's not what we're looking for. That's okay. We're three packs in. So in, in total, we're in seven packs in with one super rare. The other day, wait, where is it? We did pull this super rare invader of the throne. So technically we have pulled a foil out of these. So we're not too worried about, you know, them being scaled or something like that or tampered with. So let's hope that they're just waiting towards the end and we're going to get them soon. House of Adhesive Tape. We got the Ryu Ran, one of my favorite cards back in the day from Magical. I really like this one. The Toll. He said, give me my money. That's what they say when you buy these old Yu-Gi-Oh packs. Reliable Guardian. We got the Red Archery Girl. The Malevolent Nuzla. The Ancient One of the Deep Forest. Fire Kraken. Oh, and a Maha Vilo super rare. And there again with nice centering. Surface looks incredible. The left to right centering looks nice. The top to bottom is about the same as the Invader of the Throne. Slightly off, but I don't think it's too much that it can't get a 10. And then the back surface looks nice as well. Maybe the edge has, I mean, the edge is not perfectly cut, but it's still pretty good. The back looks pretty nice as well. Corners look good. Yeah, this is definitely a potential PSA 10 candidate. I don't know if we're going to be sending that for $100, but if they ever open back up at the uh, lower rate, then we'll be sending that in. Maybe even for 50 bucks, I might send that one in. $20, I would definitely send, 100%. Next one. I would have to check the prices on PSA 10s and 9s, and et cetera, to see if it's worth it. Time number two for the higher rate. Electric Snake, Minar, Flash Assailant, The Griggle, The Final Destiny. Penguin Knight. We got the Eat Gaboon. And the Giant True Nate. Another super rare. That's three super rares now. Good centering looks very similar. So if we end up with this centering on all of them, that's not like bad at all. Could definitely be worse. There's a little bit of maybe scuffing on the back of this one, but still pretty clean on the back. Giant True Nate's a very good card, first edition. Okay. Very nice. They even errated this to. Uh, I think they errated it technically with the Hey True Nate, or is that just a different card? I can't remember. I think they. I don't know. Honestly, I'm not really sure about that because they gave it a different name. So it's like maybe that's just a, a re retrain of it, I guess. 
It, it has to be like face up cards. I don't remember exactly. No, it was all face down. That's what it is. Twin long rods. We got the Course of Sanctuary. The Mechanical Snail. Slot Machine. Nice. The Curse of Fiend. So the first half of the commons are always... Well, actually, it's the back half because we're putting them to the front. The front half is better. Crab Turtle. Snake Fang. Can we get an Ultra Rare in here? That'd be pretty incredible. The Peacock. Just a Peacock. A large Peacock that launches its feathers in a lethal attack. A lethal Peacock. He takes a tribute, too. You have to tribute for a Peacock. And a Shining Angel. So we are going to be playing those lights, it looks like. We've got two of those. All right. Very cool. I don't know how many packs are in, but already a pretty fun opening. If you guys are enjoying these old first edition packs, then go ahead and like this video. Subscribe for more content like this because we are always trying to open this stuff. It's very difficult sometimes to find, but whenever it comes up, we like to open it. So we've got an Octoburser or Octoburser, depending on if you like the month or not. Hungry Burger. Oh, wait. The Burger. I wish you had flavor text. That'd be pretty cool. Commencement dance. We got the, oh, the metal fish. He's going to slice you with his razor shop coddle fin. With the Queen Bird. Mystic Plasma Zone, the Whiptail Crow, the Performance of Sword, and a Heroes Shadow Scout. This guy always was creepy. And look at his hairdo. I've never noticed that. He has like a uh, one of those short flat tops. Okay, that's, that's even weirder now that I see that. But wait, 50% of you guys are not subscribed according to this graph. So if you guys are enjoying the videos, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more of this. All right, next up, Magic Ruler. We still got several packs to go. Lots to open. Pretty exciting to open these 2002 original packs, guys. Not every day you get to open these, so it's very appreciated when it happens. We got the Ryu Ran again. Very nice. I just love the feel of these old first edition ones. They just feel, just feel different. They were built different back then by Upper Deck. The Reliable Guardian. We got the Spear Cretan. The Weather Report. Boar Soldier. Hamburglar Recipe. We've got the Psychic Kappa. Umiruka. And... Oh, a Manga Ryu Ran. I saw a large attack and I was like, oh, is this something? Manga Ryu Ran. Pretty cool version of the Ryu Ran. I always thought that one was cool as well. Next one. Okay, we've got, what, three Super Rares so far? We're looking for some Ultras. Come on, some Ultras, some Secrets. That'd be pretty big. A Secret Rare would be pretty epic. Let's see what we can get. We got a Koto Dama. Octo Burser. Hungry Burger. Commencement Dance. The Wall Shadow. That's a, That was a cool episode. Stone Ogre Grotto. The Tailor of the Fickle. Chain Energy. Oh, and an Ultra Rare! There it is! Delinquent Duo! That is an awesome one. Number one and number two of the duo. Very nice. Center looks very similar to those Super Rares. Maybe a little bit pushed that way. Okay, let's check the surface. Surface looks pretty nice. Yeah, surface looks really good. The back looks really nice. Oh, yeah. Corners look good. Centering on the back looks pretty good. Yeah, maybe potential gradable delinquent duo ultra rare. So now we have an ultra and four super. So, so far, pretty good pulls, I would say. Uh, we are taking those. Not bad. All right, on to the next pack. Magic Ruler, first edition. Very cool. Very cool. Now we've got an ultra. Now we just need that secret rare. Can we get... I would even... I mean, Serpentine, I'd be okay with that. I did grade one of those recently as PSA 10. I have both of these in PSA 10, actually. But, you know, I'm not going to complain about pulling another one. Not going to complain about that. Ryu Ran. The Toll. Reliable Guardian. Spear Creep. We might have an entire common set after this. Guy... Guy... High Tide Geogen? I would say Geogen, but Geogen looks more like the name. I don't know. Four Soldier. I've probably said, been saying it wrong all this time. Hamburger Recipe. The Psychic Kappa. What does he say? An amphibian with a myriad of powers to shield it from enemy attacks. Okay. Myriad of powers. Cool. And a Mother Grizzly. Okay. Another cool one. Water. Interesting that Grizzlies are... Do Grizzlies hang around like, like rivers or something? I don't know a lot about Grizzlies, but I figure that's why it's a water um, attribute. Could be wrong, though. Okay. What do we got next? So far, pretty good opening. We got Darth Maul, Horn of Light, Sonic Bird, the Taiho number two, Giant Turtle Who Feeds on Flames, Magical Labyrinth, Dark Zebra, Red Archery Girl, and a Senju of the Thousand Hands. Very cool. I do like Ritual decks, especially like Relinquish. So that's a cool one, even though, the, you know, Manchu comes out later. It's just a lot better, but still very cool. I like the artwork on that one next pack we're maybe halfway through or something i mean not bad for halfway through i would say we're doing pretty well we got another darth maul got a horn of light we got the sun eek bird the dion number two those are the same comments boar soldier hamburger recipe wow psyche kappa this feels very similar griggle okay that's different and oh and a secret rare serpent night dragon oh it's not the blue eyes tune but as i said i'm okay with this one as well maybe a slight little surface thing there but 
The back looks pretty clean. Centering is, wow, centering is pretty good too. Oh my goodness, do we got a PSA 10 candidate? We'll definitely be grading this one in a future PSA submission. Since I've been doing a lot of those recently, you guys t tend to really like those videos and I really enjoy doing them. So we'll definitely be sending this one off, I think, unless I find something else afterwards. But this card looks really good. It's not nearly as expensive as the Toon Dragon, but it's still a really nice version. All right, now what are we hoping for? I mean, I guess these are gonna be retail packs and I didn't check beforehand, I didn't wanna spoil it. So I would say maybe we're looking for like Relinquish now. We're looking for just another cool Ultra Rare pretty much because we got the Secret Rare that we're probably going to get. I mean, two would be insane. If that happens, we're going to lose it. Kotodama, we got the October Sir. October Sir, the Hungry Burger. We got the Commencement Dance. Eat Gaboon. Queen Bird. All right, the Queen of Birds. A monster attacks. This monster attacks enemies using its huge beak. All right, Whip Tail Crow. The uh, Performance of Sword. And a Horn of the Unicorn. Doo -doo. That reminds me of Lord of the Rings when uh, Boromir's blowing the horn or whatever. And uh, then he dies. But yeah, uh, <laughs> let's keep going. Yeah, okay. We don't need to talk about that. All right, continuing on. What are we going to get this time? Are we going to pull something amazing? This has been a pretty great opening so far with the centering on these cards. Weather Report, we got the Upstart Goblin. We got the Ceremonial Bell. And all these Upstarts, those are actually, you know, a couple bucks. Koto Domino, we got the Crab Turtle. Snake Fang. Peacock. Wall Shadow and Giant Rat back at it again. Another copy of the rat. Okay, we'll take that. We're not too mad about that. Oh, we're spitting on the cards down here. We got to be careful. Next one. I would say 10 ish packs remaining out of our 26 we're opening today. So far, we've pulled four, four foils. Is that right? And then five if you include the other four yesterday. So overall, pretty good. We're looking at six to seven, hopefully, maybe even eight. Guardian of the Throne Room. Oh, yeah, probably eight because of the 30. Labyrinth Wall. We got the Liquid Beast. All right, very liquidity. The House of Adhesive Tape. The Wall Shadow. The Stone Ochre Grotto. The Gaia Power. Gaia the Fierce Knight's Power. Chain Energy. And Mystic Tomato. Our first time seeing the tomato. That's, I mean, that's a cool card. Definitely a throwback that a lot of people like. Okay. I'm happy about it. I'm enjoying it, but uh, I'm, I'm down to get more. I mean, I'm not I'm not going to say I'm not going to get a little greedy here and, you know, want to pull something else. So hopefully not too greedy where it, it punishes us. Let's see if we can pull something epic. We got a house piece of tape. The right ran loose packs, by the way. So maybe we can pull double secrets. Spirit Cretan. The high tide of Yojin. One that I've never pulled first edition, Gate Guardian. So maybe if we open that box eventually, Metal Raiders, we'll pull it. Boar Soldier, Hamburger Recipe, Psyche Kappa. Ooh, a Cyber Jar. That's pretty sick, actually. I bet if you graded this, it'd actually have some value, but not worth sending it at $100, but maybe uh, when we actually get $20 rates or something like that back. I don't know if we ever will or not, though. I don't know if it's worth it for them or not with how many cards they're still getting at $50 and $100, so I don't know. We'll see. Next pack. You can always speculate. You could have sent it in somewhere else, maybe like CGC to start a grading Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, personally, don't really use or have never tried them before, so can't really say. Darkness Approaches. Koto Dama. We got the Griggle. Final Destiny. Penguin Knight. The Eekaboon. And Giant Germ. We're getting the entire rare uh, rare board here. I was going to say board. Uh, charcuterie boards like cheese. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I don't know why. But uh, yeah, we're getting everything. Uh, I don't know if you want a Giant Germ on your uh, cheese board, though. That might not be the best. Uh, you might get a little sick there. So we're going to try and avoid that. <laughs> Next pack. We got all oh, the Turtle Oath. Is it the first time we've seen that? It might be. Twin Long Rods number two. I think that's the first time we've seen that one. Yeah, we're definitely in a different comment section here. Of course, the Sanctuary, Mechanical Snail. We got the Dog Witch, the Crab Turtle, Snake Fang, Peacock, and... Ooh, the Nimble Momonga. There he is, Nimble Momonga. It's not the uh, Champion Pack version that we've pulled before, but it's still pretty cool. We're down to seven packs, so I don't know if I was right about the ten. I think I was off. I usually guess way lower than there actually is left, so... I'm not guessing this time. I just counted. Okay. We were on a little bit of a dry streak, but we did pull the secret last time, so that was pretty good. Slot machine. We got the Guardian, his little brother. Very nice. Labyrinth Wall. Liquid Beast. The Giant Turtle who feeds on flames. The Magical Labyrinth. Dog Zebra. Red Archery Girl. If you're going to get a Super Rare, this is the one to get. Toon World Super Rare. Very cool. Oh, yeah. I can just hear that music playing from the, from the uh, show. Like, with the bunny bouncing around, you know what I'm talking about, the dark rabbit, I think his name is. Beautiful. Okay, another super rare. So, we're just really just hoping for one more ultra, and we have, like, box ratio, I think, plus one. So, pretty good. We'll take that. What can we get this time? Can we pull something cool? I'm ready. Turtle Oath. The Twin Long Rods. Of course, the Sanctuary. Mechanical Snail. Queen Bird. The Whiptail Crow. 
performance of sword. Giant Turtle who feeds on flames and... Ooh, another super messenger of peace. This one is a little bit off center that way, but that's okay. Messenger of peace. These are all very clean cards, which is nice. You love to see those services like that when they come out of the packs. Messenger of peace. We will take that. All right. Ultra rare. Where are you? What what ultra do I? Besides relinquish, I would say acts of despair would be cool. What else? What else even is there? Tune summon skull. Tune mermaid. Those are options. Yeah. Uh, MST. That's another good one. I would take any of those. We got Electric Snake. A lot of magic cards since it is Magic Ruler before they change the name. Minar, we got the Flash Assailant. We got the Turtle Oath. Malevolent Nuzla. Ancient One of the Deep Forest. Fire Kraken. Dark Witch. And Cyber Jar. All right, it's Cyber Jar. Back at it again. Another nice rare. We'll take that. Four packs to go in our 26 pack first edition Magic Ruler opening. Can we pull something else incredible? So far, it's been pretty good. I would say uh, pretty good is an understatement. It's been very good. All right, weather report. Give us that weather. We got the upstart. We got the ceremonial bell. Makoto Dama. Griggle. Final destiny. Five card discard right there. The Penguin Knight. Eat Gaboon. And... Oh, the Arkansas Razorbacks made their way into the opening naturally, of course. Wait. There's there's still four more. I, it's like these packs multiplying. There's somehow always another one hiding under a, a different one. It's crazy. Okay. House of Adhesive Tape. We got the Ryu Ran, the Reliable Guardian, Spear Cretan, Malevolent Nazla, the Ancient One of the Deep Forest, Firecrack. We've seen a lot of these commons already. We got the Dark Witch. Now, can we see an Ultra we haven't seen? Flying Kamakiri. His little uh, wings made it look like a secret rare for a second. I was like, what is this? Like, this is not something I know. Three more packs. Three more packs. If you guys have enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe for more epic content like this because we're going to be opening old school stuff. We're going to be opening fun mystery boxes and just doing crazy stuff that you guys will enjoy. So make sure to hit that subscribe and we will continue doing it. Let's go, Jig and Bakken. Have we seen that? Maybe a long time ago. Flash Assailant, the Red Archery Girl, Malevolent Nuzzler, Ancient One of the D4s, Fire Firecracking, and Giant Jerk. <laughs> He's back again. I feel like we've gotten like two of every rare so far. Two packs remaining. A first edition magic ruler Whew. believe we will pull another ultra rare come on come on we can do this we can pull one in the final two packs i believe the octo burser commencement danse we got the burger we got the metal fish the coddle fin we got the ogre grotto the gaia power chain energy the gyogen and tune wall again another super okay if there's as i said if there's a super to pull and if there's a double to pull, it's Toon World. Okay, very good. How is the... Centering looks a lot like that Messenger of Peace, except reverse. So I, that one might be a little bit off. That's okay. That's okay. That gives us like nine foils, I think. So maybe one took the place of an Ultra Rare. Unless it's in this pack. We'll, oh, okay. We just destroyed the pack. That's okay. That's okay. As long as there's an Ultra Rare in here, we'll forgive it. Otherwise, we're going to be very angry. No, I'm just kidding. Here we go. Octoburster again. Weird. Okay. Hungry Burger. Commencement dance. We got the metal fish with his caudal fin. The queen bird. He's going to cut us with a giant beak. The whiptail crow. He also has a giant beak. So what's up with that? I don't know. Performance of the sword. We've got giant turtle who feeds on flames. Here's the final card of the opening. If you guys have enjoyed it, I hope that you let me know in the comments. And here we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Hi, Ozanryu. Very nice. He Ozanryu. Okay. We didn't see that one the whole time, so that was a pretty cool card. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content. Shout out to TCG, Trust Your Cards, Tone Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Echo, Daxter, Emusa, Junior Barney, and Untitai Show, and JT Cho. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.